Gentle enough for goldfish? Here's the proof. For five hours, these delicate fish were pumped through the transparent system. Note in this test that most of the fish make only one revolution within the pump housing before being spouted upward. Having virtually no contact with the recessed impeller, the fish survived this severe test swimmingly. Not many people have occasion to pump live goldfish, but it does prove a point. Tough enough for concrete? Here's the proof. In another test, you see this versatile pump handling ready-mix concrete as easily as it handled goldfish. In the first test, there was no damage to the fish. Here, there's no damage to the pump. The Wemco torque flow pump does many jobs, including the tough ones that conventional pumps would like to do. When this pump with the new twist first appeared, it made news headlines. You may have seen it on television. Pathé News sent a camera crew to film it in action. They were given a demonstration of the pump's versatility. Here, olives and cherries are safer than in a cocktail. Even this rubber stopper with a length of rope attached to it could not foul the new pump. Reporters wanted to see the goldfish test. It was the first time they had ever seen a pump with such a remarkable combination of power and delicacy. Let's get an understanding of how this amazing pump works. But first, here is a cross-section of a conventional type pump. The heavy black area represents the casing. The impeller is indicated by the diagonal lines. In this conventional centrifugal pump, the entire flow must go through the restricted impeller eye area, then make an abrupt change of direction and flow out the discharge port. This presents serious problems. Here, stringy, fibrous material can become wrapped around the leading edges of conventional pump vanes. This invites clogging and stoppage. Also, the wearing ring, which maintains a separation between the suction and discharge waterways to prevent recirculation, is especially vulnerable to abrasion by grit. The result is loss of flow and efficiency, often complete failure. Another danger zone is the suction port opening because it is larger generally than the impeller entrance or eye area. Thus, large solids can enter the conventional pump but may become lodged in the impeller eye area or vein structure. This causes material to jam up, making it impossible to pass through the pump discharge. The Wemco torque flow pump has none of the serious problems found in the conventional design. That's because Wemco's entirely new concept of pumping, the new twist, has completely eliminated the areas that invite trouble. We have already examined the conventional design. Now let's look at an actual cutaway model of the Wemco torque flow pump. The all important difference is that material flow follows a completely unobstructed path. How is this done? simply by recessing the impeller out of the flow pattern. This is the new twist in pumping. This way, there is one continuous open passage from suction port to discharge, with no wearing rings or other clearances to maintain. It can't clog, simply because there is nothing inside on which to clog. Let's have another look at the transparent model of the pump. Solid particles go through with ease, never blocking or clogging. Let's try a real test. We'll drop a handkerchief into the tank. It's caught in the swirl-type movement, enters the suction port, and is discharged almost immediately. This is further proof of its ability to handle stringy material. This new idea in pumping was conceived on a creek bank by two placer miners tired of shoveling gold-bearing gravel to the sluice box. They built the first crude torque flow pump out of odds and ends, including two Ford brake drums welded together to form the housing. 
Not only did this new creation solve the problem of shoveling sand, but to the miner's amazement, the pump also handled a glut of twigs, soggy leaves and gravel, and without clogging. To test the suction lift, the men used a straightforward method. They hoisted the pump on a wooden pallet to the top of a bridge span. At 29 feet and 6 inches, the pump slowed down, but it continued to pump. Today, no centrifugal pump handling solid even approaches the suction lift capabilities of the Wemco torque flow. Many hydraulic experts said it wouldn't work, but it does. Let's see what this new pump will do under some actual operating conditions. The problem at Los Angeles International Airport was a tough one. Plastic containers and other solids dumped into the system caused clogging three to five times a week. The resulting backup of waste material onto the airport area and runways could not be tolerated. In 1956, a torque flow pump was installed. On this particular day, it handled over 80% of a 1,100,000 gallon load. Since it has been operating, it has never clogged, nor have repairs been required. This type of trouble-free performance is virtually unheard of with standard centrifugal pumps. Ask anyone in Florida about the wild-growing hyacinth, and he'll tell you that it has an astonishing growth rate. A short time before this picture was taken, the Orlando Sewage Treatment Plant had placed 10 hyacinths in its clarifiers as part of the work in recovery of plant food. But all too quickly, some 200,000 hyacinths were threatening to choke these 120-foot clarifiers out of commission. Manual methods of removing the plants proved ineffective and costly. So who came to the rescue? A 4-inch Wemco torque flow pump. The hyacinths were poled into a 24-inch funnel attached to a suction line provised from steel irrigation pipe. For mobility, the small pump was mounted on a two-wheel trailer. The Wemco pump took to this unusual task as if it had been tailor-made for the job. Without so much as a throat-clearing cough, it began gobbling up the 200,000 hyacinths, roots, plants, and all. Many of these plants, with roots, measured six feet in length, more than enough to choke or completely stop a faint-hearted pump. But this pump never hesitated. And for good measure, it discharged the hyacinths 50 feet away into a sludge drying bed. Good riddance and good work. The problem at the Stokely Van Camp food plant in Oakland, California, was quite different from those we have just seen. Here the need was for delicate operation, the gentle pumping of food solids. When cooked hominy is transferred to a feed trough, there must be gentle action at the receiving end. That is why this stainless steel torque flow pump is at the receiving end today. Never clogging and with no damage to the food particles, it lifts the hominy to the next processing step. Notice the idle bucket type elevator. When this small pump replaced 75 feet of this equipment, a big step in economy and a big step in sanitation was achieved by Stokely Van Camp. This on-the-job scene shows you the daily fare that a Wemco pump can and does handle at a pulp and paper company. Waste paper is brought in on lift trucks and dropped on the conveyor belt. Strings or wire bands are clipped and usually removed. Typical of many scrap paper accumulations, tin cans, bottle caps, rubber gloves, baling wire, and rope go to the hydro pulper and then to the pump. After leaving the hydropulper, the material flows to a surge tank and then on to the pump. It handles all solids that slip through the surge tank. Material moved by the pump flows to a settling trap that drops out the accumulated solids, which are then transferred to a debris pile or trash bin. Here are some of the items that have just passed through the pump. 
Key to the success of the entire torque flow line is the unique spiral vortex principle, which enables pumping of solids without clogging because of the recessed impeller. Whether it's pumping soft, easily damaged solids, or coarse, abrasive industrial waste, you can rely on a Wemco torque flow pump, the pump with a new twist.